it's time to talk about sequence alignment and this is uh, something that you need to understand you need to uh, you know there's nothing to mug up here uh, this is something that uh, the CSIR net generally don't have but uh, gate biotechnology have this topic IIT jam can have it as well as other uh, entrance examination habits CSI and it has a plan to include bio uh, bioinformatics and if it is there if by any means you have bioinformatics as a subject in your graduation or masters then you obviously need to understand need to know sequence alignment sequence alignment this is what we will talk about right now so <clears throat> what is sequence alignment Basically, sequence alignment is a process of comparing two or more than two, two or more than two sequences, a uh, character by character, same to same, in the same order with each other. Okay. So basically, let's say, let's say we have a sequence, a uh, nucleotide sequence, A G A G G C T, and there is another sequence, A G C C G C T, like that. Okay. So this is sequence number one. This is sequence number two and aligning these two sequence means we are comparing these two sequence and we are comparing the sequence for the type of nucleotide that it is present in a position. Let's say position number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're looking at from five prime end to three prime end in this direction. So we can clearly mark the position of the nucleotide. You can see that in the position one, it's same. Okay. A hundred percent match. Uh, it's also same in the position three it's different position four is different rest all are same so only in position three and four uh, it is different okay this is just uh, to give you a simple idea about the sequence alignment so we are comparing two or more than two sequences uh, character by character in the same order that is sequence alignment now if we are working with two sequence the aligning two sequence will be easier and we can do that uh, with, uh, for example, in this case, sequence one and two only with seven nucleotide long, two sequences can be aligned by a human person without any issue. Even in some case, if it's a short nucleotide stretch, then you can align two, three sequence, four sequence as per our requirement. But if it is, let's say, if our target, let's say this is a target sequence, and we don't know whether this target sequence is familiar or similar to what other sequences that are present in the biological database and we are looking for uh, we are looking into it, digging into the nucleotide database that is out there NCBI EBI all these databases that are, that are there so in that case we run a sequence alignment tool we need a tool and that is known as BLAST all capital remember that okay so what is the full form of BLAST basic local alignment search tool BLAST so basically BLAST will run the target sequence and it will try to match the target sequence with that of all the sequences that are present in the database okay to give us the result so because in that case it's more complex a human brain cannot do that so we need algorithm and computer software to do that remember that okay so when we do the sequence alignment uh, there are different ways the sequence alignment can be done okay and there are some terminology that also need to understand so one of such terminology is identity let's talk about that identity identity is characters which are shared between two taxa and known as identity so basically for a particular character uh, let's say in this case we are looking at the character let's say phenotypic character it can be a phenotypic character or genotypic character then we have similarity similarity what is similarity degree of identity is similarity it is the degree of identity that is known as similarity then what else we have we have homologous orthologous paralogous three terms homologous orthologous and paralogous what does this different terms mean homologous Homologous means sequence derived from common ancestor. Orthologous, where the homology is present, the conserved structure of the protein, homology with conserved function in different species. We have homology 
विथ कंजर्व फंक्शन कंजर्व फंक्शन इन डिफरेंट स्पीसीज एंड वॉट इज पैरोलॉगस होमोलॉजी विथ डाइवर्जेंट फंक्शन विथ डाइवर्जेंट फंक्शन होमोलॉजी विथ डाइवर्जेंट फंक्शन एंड दिस कैन बी ड्यू टू जीन डुप्लीकेशन ड्यू टू जीन डुप्लीकेशन एंड इंसर्शन डिलीशन कैन ऑल्सो डू दैट बट जीन डुप्लीकेशन कैन कॉज डाइवर्जेंट फंक्शन दे आर नोन एज पैरोलॉगस so homologous will be called if the sequence are derived from common ancestor orthologous will be called if the homology is present with conserved function and paralogous will be called if homology is present with divergent function a generally result due to the gene duplication okay and there are also there can be gaps presents in the sequence why there will be gap present in the sequence basically it's known as e i n d i n d e l indel now what is indel i n means insertion d e l del means deletion insertion and deletion event to cause mutation and that actually may result in the evolution that is the idea so even though we know the sequence and when we try to align to sequence sometimes they can result in they can result in uh either we can for example here sequence 1 and 2 we can compare easily because there is no gap but sometimes there are gap in the sequence and it's actually the gap due to the data that is submitted by the lab may be due to the mutation which can be insertion or deletion mutations okay all right <clears throat>